Hello everybody, welcome to Daily Entomologist, and in this uh, pinning shark video, I'm going to go over how to pin flies. Alright, so, you can see here, I have a couple robber flies um, that I'm going to use for my demonstration in this video. Um, robber flies are one of my favorite groups of flies. Um, just, just awesome flies. Um, so I'm going to move this one out here and show you on this bigger one here. Um, so flies, we have the head, we have the thorax, and then we have the abdomen. So when pinning flies, straightforward, simple, pin through the thorax, it's about right there. Once again, you want to get it as straight as possible. And push it through. And voila. Um, so with uh, robber flies, I actually do somewhat position the legs a little bit. I make it so the hind legs come out in the back. And the four legs, the front couple pairs of legs. come out in the front. Looks like it's missing a, some tarsi on some of the, on one of the legs. So I get it down. Get the hind legs back. I have the front legs like tucked but still out. And uh, voila. That fly is positioned and ready to be dried in my collection. So, as I said, simple, straightforward. Um, I'm going to set that one aside. It'll be the same thing on that one. Um, here's some other examples. You see, this is a bee fly here. And a pin through the thorax, even though it's kind of difficult to see in these in uh, this type of specimen. Um, here's a good example right here. We have a, this. Uh, uh, Tachinid fly. See, um, actually I'm going to bring this one up closer to the camera. There we go. I see a uh, pin right through the thorax there. Um, I didn't really position the lades on this fly. I usually don't position the lades on most other flies. I just keep the lades tucked in somewhat. Um, but yeah, beautiful specimen right here. Pin right through the right through the thorax. Now, in a uh, really vast majority of flies, are too small to pin. So, like this mosquito here. Um, you can uh, also point flies. Um, mosquitoes I point on the sides because a lot of their identif identification features are located on the sides, so this makes it easy to do that. To do that. Um, I'm going to show you another uh, 
pointed fly. That how you would point uh, somewhat normally. Um, this is a bad pointing job, actually. Um, normally, like uh, you point, you would point uh, glue the point um, on the right side of the fly right there, so the fly is pointing going that way, and actually looks good. So that's kind of a poor poor example. Um, but there is another option for smaller flies that I use now is I double mount. So here you have this fly and I mount it on a minutin pin then I put the minutin pin as you can see there on a piece of foam right there and then I put that on a pin. Um, this method isn't for everybody. I like this method because to me it's my personal preference. It's more aesthetically pleasing, um, looks nice, and works just fine. Um, uh, it's a little bit more work than just doing glue points and then just doing like that. But um, I like the results of it. It looks nice, it looks clean and you get uh, good specimens out of it. So this is a really nice looking specimen. Um, and that's another method uh, that you can use to pin small. Um, so here's like the minute pins I use. So yeah. Beautiful rubber flies. I love rubber flies. So that's uh, the quick way um, show you how how I uh, pin and mount uh, flies. So I hope you enjoy. Have any questions? Comment, and I'll try and answer. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time.